Have you guys thought about the like the reps competitions? I think that's where actually my ta talent is actually yeah. at. I Bro, think for yeah. Kim as well, actually. Maybe yeah. like the off to some time. Have you guys seen what's going on in the states? Oh, fucking shit. Not as easy as you made it look, bro. I had to pass like two kids. Wait, morning. 80 or something, it doesn't change that much. <laughs> A little bit of McDonald's never hurt nobody. Simon and Nikki actually in the shot maybe we could do like a introduction of uh, telling people who the fuck came here he's huge without shirt who he's a rather large individual not you bro don't worry about it that's, yeah, that's, that's a, a regular uh, Swedish fella, a regular <laughs> size, you know, you know the other Swedish people. Yeah, this is like medium. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. This, yeah, this like literally. This whole side of the world is tall, bro. <laughs> Everywhere. Like when I got, even here, when I got here, I, I was telling my girl, I was like, damn. Like I've been around too many street workout people. I've been yeah. feeling, you know, pretty big and shit. Yeah. I pulled up in Riga. I was not bro, big, bro. De default here, like yeah. for calisthenics. They don't know. Don't let them know that I'm standing. <laughs> oh, bro. What is up, guys? We're right now in the backyard. You probably cannot see shit because oh no, no, you can see like because of the light. I'm probably sexy as fuck right now. But oh, yeah. today we have a very special session and two very special guests. Simon from Sweden. Simon Imhausers. And Nikki makes from United States. Holy oh shit! Boy. Crazy journey, bro. This is so freaking random, to be honest. Like in past, like I don't know how long time, like it all came together. But we managed to be in the backyard right now. Daniel already filmed the video with uh, Simon, heavyweight calisthenics. So make sure to check it out when it drops. I'm gonna leave the link down below when it drops. And of course, Nikki, we're gonna film an interview. We already filmed one with the Simon, and. Hell yeah, today is gonna be basics and statics a little bit mixed together Well, we will see where this session actually goes because we have kind of no clue This session came together like at the last moment. So let's get it. Let's fucking go I'm not this short usually I just want <laughs> <laughs> Big boy calisthenics bro. Okay, so now like comparing wait, let me take off my <laughs> Let me take but off you're built like bro. I'm a fridge, but Short ass mother. So check it. Two heavyweights, but look at the height difference. Look at the height difference and the size difference. Look at this fucking bro. It's double the size of my fucking arm. I felt always that I'm big. Then Daniel put me to shame. But when Simon came here, bro, I feel fucking small. I should like should I start taking some shit? Mosquito spray, I guess. Yeah, yeah mosquito spray. Like there's a lot of anabolics in it. Or uh, the tanning oil. Tanning oil, yes. It's gonna make me appear a little bit bigger. Yeah. Uh, Look at Nikki, how big is Nikki? I've been on that tanning oil, baby. Is that sign on a police? Pip, pip, bullet. Creatine oil? It goes to the fucking back. Yeah. From the fucking. Water. Probably lose some water. Like two, three kilos with water and then like. Post McDonald's like posing, that's what it's called. Slightly bit. It's weird because the creatine puts the water, but it makes you stronger. Yeah. We we had this conversation when I like was actually sitting down and eating actually. Is that crazy? Chicken and rice. Chicken and rice, hard work, creatine. I, I had the past like turkey this morning. 80 or something, it doesn't change that much to be honest. A little bit of McDonald's never hurt nobody. Uh, we about to do some. Not mediocre content, but we're short. And you know, we're gonna, we're gonna go crazy. We're always filming for a show. Girls training calisthenics, oh my god. <laughs> it's hard to tell it from, uh, from the start. Yeah. Afterwards, there is like. You cannot predict much, you know. 
Done. That's it. I did my reps. I'm out. See you guys in LA. <laughs> Keep the old school. Oh. Yeah. That's the one. This is gonna go crazy for the gram, huh? Shut down. Bro, by the time how we usually upload shit, it's coming <laughs> next year. <laughs> by 2027, we're making it out. Out the, it out the hood, out huh? the suburbs. Out the suburbs. Because yes, we don't fucking <laughs> fucking oh, clever. No, I saw he did it earlier. Fucking clever. Yeah. So if you're having a bad set, remember to be like, fuck! Because <laughs> this is where the sound is going to get back in. Uh, really? By the way, this is not the first time that me and Simon does uh, uh, basics big, together yeah. because we actually did the challenge uh, after Beast of the Bars. We did like three guys. We were three guys against Max True. We did the muscle up challenge. We fucking won. We were like, I don't know how the fuck we managed because I was half dead. Like, we were like three, three people against, against Max True. Yeah, yeah, like it was me, Simon, and another guy from Sweden. Yeah. Bro. I was like, we started doing, I like tell, like go five, go five muscle ups like each and change, right? Uh -huh. He was going unbroken until 50 or some shit. Yeah, this is like fucking crazy, insane. unbroken yeah, yeah, 50. Some shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's that Belarus, he's different. from Belarus, he's yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. strong, bro. But uh, I remember like we did like four or five sets and my body instantly starts cramping up. My abs are cramping, my arms, everything is fucking cramping. And I see Simon is still fucking flying. <laughs> no problem whatsoever. But yeah, like somehow luckily we won that challenge. For those who already watched the video, you already have seen actually that challenge which we did. So today we're gonna do a little bit more reps, prepare for the next year's, <laughs> next year's challenge against Max Tero to win again. <laughs> Uh, that's the that's the way to go. If we can't win the actual beast of the bars, we win the crowd challenge. <laughs> exactly. Rossum. Always Rossum. What does form of process look like? For what? For planches and shit. Oh, it's long? Uh, yeah, bro. Kind of. If I don't want to get hurt. But then it all depends, bro. If you pull up and it's hype and shit, like I have like, <laughs> you know, I have like the express warm up. Yeah, that it's just like just don't get injured warm up. And then I have the wise man. Wise man, yeah. Warm up, you know. Yeah. I, I feel um, you. I feel you, bro. Express warm up would probably be like 10 minutes. Yeah. Wise man warm up would be like 30. For me, like I sometimes do one hour straight. Yeah, like good it for depends you. how like tired you are from the previous sessions. If you're sore, tight, or anything, yeah. the longer the. Good. Fucking warm up goes. How is it for you, Simon? Warm ups. How 15 long? to 20 minutes. Do you have express variation or something? Faster variation when you're hyped? Like you're out and about. Sometimes. <coughs> Yo, this is the sickest spot. In yeah. Do a plant right now. Yeah, I would do I would do a few push ups, wait for like two minutes, and then I would fucking send it. <laughs> but not sustainable long term. But for uh, sometimes, the occasion is there and you need it. That's what I will do. Express warm up. The, for us, it's this and go. Literally, for this guy, it's special. <laughs> Fuck that. Two shots of espresso, cigarette, and go. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's the warm up. <laughs> he hasn't even had a cigarette yet. Let's go. He's been on and off. Rub that shit, rub that shit. It's like, it's either consistent, it's either every week or more. I'm trying to do it, I feel you do. I feel you. I'm going back to going on. Sham. Sham. I hope I did. My shake on the most sham. Beautiful. No way. Oh, now it's gonna be beautiful. This is the good arm, bro. This is the good one. Good one. Nice. The right, the right one is the shit arm. Oh. That's a warm up.
<laughs> bro, that's good. That's like the best one I've done all day. Yeah, but bro, pointers, pointers, literally squeeze the fuck out of the P-bar so you don't, like, it's gonna allow you to stay in, in line. Okay. Don't lose the grip, first of all, because, like, you cannot allow your wrist to move that much. Uh, other thing, use the other arm as counterbalance. So okay. don't keep, like, I use, I don't know, Daniel usually uses pretty static, like the other arm, but for me, like, I use it like a, move it like almost like a scale, you know, yeah. the body moves one way and the arm to the other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was pretty good, actually. I'm surprised. Let's see how many injuries can we get today with slight amount of warm up. Leno warm up. Oi, bla. Mashallah, let's fucking go. What the fuck? Yeah. Let's fucking go. Two. Protraction though, my guy. Protraction. Really good, really good, really good. Nationals in week or two. This guy is fucking taking it. There's no other way. Or we are gonna fucking boycott, we're gonna fight, we're gonna burn down the whole fucking competition place. Push. Nice. Oh. Push. Let's keep going. Up, up, up. Nice. Yep, 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 yep. Good stuff, good stuff. Fucking go. Up, up, up. Elbows, elbows. Yes, sir. <laughs> Maybe them, but you don't care what they say. Nice, <laughs> bro. Right, so bring it back. Bring it back to pool. Cool. Okay, another pull. Yeah, no. Still fucking no. Too heavy. Shit. No pulling for today, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Oh. Fuck! <laughs> Hold longer? Who holds longer? Bravo. I fool your style. Bravo. Bravo. Okay, let's get the shit. Oh. This motherfucker. Putting me to shame. He just lied there. He just lied there. First off, I'm lighter. Uh, this guy, no, it's okay. this guy was my mentor for many years. I wouldn't be here without him. Look at him. He's so big. So my best massive. student. My best student. But, uh, got better than me, and now he's gonna become the national champion that I never achieved, and uh, hopefully world champion very very soon. Stay tuned. 20, 2085. I'm coming. <laughs> Title run starts Title now. <laughs> Nice, come on, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Save all this. Save all this. Line, I'm, line, I'm, line. Take your time. Take your time. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. 
Terus. Oh ya. Yeah. Oke, okay, Edgar. Get it, it's like Fuck that little jib, bro. Oi. Oh. Shit. Some good heights. But we're fucking up the bar more. Push. Up. Swing. Oy. Control, control, control. Push. 90, let's go up. Up, up, up. Easy. Oy. Lower, 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 yes, sir. Oh. God damn. You don't have even that? Maybe I have one. Or five, five, five. For sure. Five, five, five. Okay. Fuck it. Paul, 10, 10, 10. You in? I've heard of it. You can die. Why don't we start at five? It's in Angola, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five and go. Five. No, no, we do one set, just 10. 10, 10, 10. Like one set. I'm broken. Halas after that, yes bro, exactly, halas after that. Yeah. Fuck it, I'm gonna go for 10, 10, 10. This is usually the set what we back in the day used to do. So if you're capable of doing 10, 10, 10, you can pretty much stop doing basics, start doing Forever. fucking statics and dynamics from that point, because like, you don't need to get better in the reps, that's endurance after that, like way, like, way much more endurance than strength gains at that point, but fuck it, let's go for it. <laughs> Now the shittiest part doing pull ups after everything. Fingers though, bro, that fucks up your grip like crazy. Woo. That was actually easier than I expected. Bro, without any basic training for the past, I don't know how long. That went up easier than I expected. Range of motion, check. Maybe left side of the body didn't fully extend in muscle up. Ah, that looked great, bro. You good? Yeah, you did good. I'm surprised. She. I ain't trying that shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm giving a sec, bro. Ah, you shouldn't do it, you have nationals coming up. Yeah. Switch it. Yeah, he switches yeah. when he's going up. Wow. Nice. Yeah, I think it's a fu fuck. Fuck it. Oh, you got it. Uh, I think it's less, less friction. <laughs> fucking go. Let's fucking go. Where am I at? You're uh, nine? I think nine, yes. Let's go, wrap it out, wrap it out, wrap it out, wrap it out. Let's go, pull up. Fuck pull ups, bro. Take your time with pull ups. Let's go, let's go. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oops. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Five. Six. Let's go, let's go. Take your time. Go one by one. 
Let's go, two left, two left. Let's go, pull. Nice. One last one, one last one, one last one. Last one. Oh, fuck that. Nice, let's go. Oh, that was tough. That fucking shit. That was not, <laughs> not as easy as you made it look, bro. This has been the usual doubt of pocket challenge with it. The, the, Dude, I have not done reps in so long, bro. Oh, me too. Like, I do reps only in the warm up. Yeah, I do. Clench reps yeah. and front lever reps. Yeah. But I don't I do it, bro. You managed to do this shit like it's not for this fucking bro. 30 fucking reps forward and broken one step. Yes, sir. Type shit. Yeah. What beach? Huh? What beach? Yeah. They went to the beach. I think. I think like for for session freestyle. Yeah. This is the spot. You haven't been to the gym though. Man. Oh the, yeah, I don't know the gym. Bro, but the, the gym, beach, bro, like, the I'm gym, the gym. Hitting my leg and shit. Bro, if you're gonna see the gym, you're gonna be like, fuck. Yeah. Some pump in the yeah, back. Got some climbing in the gym. Uh, no, no. Yeah. Maybe we need to go yeah. even a bit further. Don't leave. Oh, no. oh, what the way. fuck? Bro, Jeez. what the fuck? I just she's fucking shit. Bro, she's about to do a ten. Bro, bro, bro. Bro, wait for what? To take off the shirt, bro. She's buffish fucking bro. Hey, hey. Oh, it's a compliment. No. <laughs> Wait, show a bicep, show the bicep at least. No, I don't. <laughs> She's shy, she's shy. This is six foot two. Fucking eats whales for breakfast. Then this sweet fuck. For which cup size I am? Fucking massive. Swedish meatballs. I think I'm gonna go through with a group. Like from the side, like. Tau card. So good. Okay. We and bicep pump. Come on, mug me. No, 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 don't do that. <laughs> Is there orders? You're embarrassing yourself. Is there orders? Achman's deals. Okay, we we'll look at all of that. Uh, we were turning in the garage and we went it. They showed him sea bum, Chris Bumstead. And I was like, bro, look at him. He's fucking huge. I want to be this guy, please. And he was like, no, nah, bro, he's kind of too big. I don't, I don't like that all that physique shit. I'm just in my grind. Two years later, Natty Sibo, fuck me, <laughs> guys. You can't win. You can't win. Yeah, I didn't know nothing about how it works. Imagine he cut that. The hose gone sick. Bro. Random hands and push-up test. Let's see how many reps I can manage to do. I'm gonna go max out, literally. Uh, last time I tested myself, I think I went above 20. But I did it on the ground. Now I'm gonna go on P-bars. I'm gonna stop at 90 degrees. I'm not gonna go deep. Just 90 degrees, wrap it out. Let's see how it goes. Oh, shit. That's it. <laughs> How many I did? 13? That's shit. It's actually oh, shit. Oh, I don't know. Did I go deep enough actually? Was it deep yeah, enough? In the beginning I didn't feel like I went deep enough, so it like increased a little bit of rum there. Shit, it's so weird, like it's like I mean like all the time, you know, when you train on the parallels and stuff, you adjust like a little bit wider on P-bars, the bars are more narrow, so you're forced to pull your elbows inwards instead of like flaring them out a bit it's a little bit different but still 13 that's more than enough after doing like 10 10 10 set 
Let's see what I'm gonna come up with next, what I'm gonna do. Maybe some one-arm pull-ups actually. I'm gonna test that shit. <laughs> hey bro. Like and I see like I saw him training with the guys and shit, like he posted the videos, I was like, bro, if you're fucking training, call me. He's like he's like, yeah, I don't have people to train with. Okay. Because all of those guys over the time stopped training or didn't take it as serious. He was training training on his own pretty much. I was like, bro, call me up, let's fucking go, right? And then one day we met in like uh, we have like this uh, urban sports like uh, event place in our uh -huh. country it was like the neighborhood where he's from actually and uh it's called ghetto games like so there's freestyle calisthenics there's like the street basketball like uh -huh. there's floorball there's football like all of the sports like street sports uh -huh. all combined in one place so there's pull-up bars like uh, og setup where they actually held the first two world championships at okay uh we pretty much like i went to the bars trained did some muscle i didn't grow since then but he was younger than me he was already bigger i was like what the fuck is this guy on like i'm like uh -huh. what the fuck and then we did, like we did like a little bit of training. He was like, "Yeah, bro, like you should fucking train." Like, and, like I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, like I'm trying to take it serious, but nobody that I train with nobody takes it as serious, you know." And then like just one day he hits me up on Facebook. He's like, "Yeah, let's go to gymnastics gym. Let's go fucking send dynamics." I'm like, "Bro, like I didn't know shit back then. Like I maybe could jump over the bar, jump on the bar, like the easy, yeah. right?" We go to the gym. I think three tries. I learned muscle up 360 in three tries. He just told me how to do it. Like, and Sick. since then, like, we fucking every fucking like almost every other day we train. Yeah. Since then, bro, it was right. fucking crazy. It took like maybe two more years, I think, or three for him. So he was like switching between like training and then like joining with the other uh -huh. company, you know, like partying and all. so it was like switching and switching there and there. Yeah. And then, yeah, over time, we just take it more serious. Yeah. Now. And like literally go. from starting to train with him one year after I was like already second ranked in the car uh, yeah. country yeah. second sure. place in the country for one year of training yeah. maybe even less than a year so literally training with this guy skyrocket skyrocket at everything yeah. it's fucking crazy like the story Bro, from when, did, when, when did you get into it because uh, I, I remember you've been around like doing this in LA for quite some time bro I, I, like, I was there in 2019 you were yeah. there I, I remember yeah. that's like when I was actually got into it bro like I think 2016 I found out about it All right. and I started trying like pull-ups and then muscle ups and shit and then like I got like I started training in 2017, Sounds like insane. skills and uh, shit. But I was all alone. I didn't I mean, live in LA. I lived in Colorado. I would say that's kind of like in the in the middle, not too early, but kind of early on. Yeah. Because yeah. bro, you saw his level, right? Yeah. He started 2019. Yeah. It's crazy. Was He's well. my coach, yeah. bro. Yeah. <laughs> bro, yeah. bro, these two guys. Yeah. He was a part of my group. I mean, that I coached. Christoph is is. He's, he's cheated bro because he's like not not cheated in the bad way he's like op like because he has his background you know yeah, what i mean yeah. um but and i noticed bro, most of the kids too. that that start 2019 2020 if they have people like you guys around them it's yeah, like yeah. bro it's like you're starting from level yeah. 40 bro. yeah you know mm -hmm. what i mean like because i remember and i bet it was harder when you guys started but i remember when i started and there was no one in my city who did not even muscle ups and it was 2016 and there was maybe like five muscle up tutorials on youtube like that was it and everything else was just fucking experimentation like you're just yeah. trying shit all oh, the time for, for us actually bro like yeah. this is actually a lot of people don't actually know in our country the sport is fucking recognized really well really? if you go to a bar do something they know street worker calisthenics yeah. automatic not only because of this guy but because the culture like back then when like it popped up right around like when the economic crisis went down right yeah. mm. like and then like nobody had money everybody's broke a lot of people's parents like uh, got fired like didn't have a place to work so everybody was doing a lot of random shit on the streets like yeah. doing bullshit including me including yeah. all of my friends pretty yeah. much and then like this sport popped off everybody's like oh shit this is something new like yeah. and everybody went to when the bar. was that around what year to like 2010 11 yeah. something like that like literally like we had like this uh Latvia's Got Talent type shit show, uh -huh. like the OG, like Maris and all of the guys uh -huh. who started the whole movement they here. The they went on the show. They won. They got yeah. money and they invested into like yeah. building extra parks. On Do the you think city. that like there was some influence that came from like New York? Yes, like exactly. Hannibal yeah, bro. Like all those guys if you if you ask if you ask like Maris, he's gonna say yeah. yeah. They saw Hannibal, yeah. Hannibal, Barbendas, all of yeah, the guys yeah, like yeah. in New York. Yeah. Saw all of them. They they, they got inspired over that That's because crazy, like bro, bro, bro here literally like. Uh, I think even in Russia they did it even before us, yeah. right? But they didn't do anything in order to like start making world championships or anything. So like yeah. the movement competitive wise, like the movement didn't start over there, but like 
like Latvians yeah. start to make like the world championships the world, yeah, the and that's how I championship yeah, yeah. Was here, bro. And that's why how it started moving yeah, it was. that's how it started like moving crazy. pretty much the movement started from there but bro like crazy. it's like as well like like it was crazy like in all the countries like po post uh, uh, Soviet countries like all the countries like bro the sport fucking exploded bro yeah. like if we go like even to this day if we by any chance would go to Russia bro like those people know us yeah. The, like in Russia, it's fucking bro. Uh, yeah. Back in the day, already like 2017, first time when we went to compete in Estonia, for example, right? We, I train with Daniels. We train at the gym. Like maybe in our country, people recognize us, right? We go to Estonia. Like we go in the just fucking random McDonald's in the early in the fucking morning, like six something, like a a.m. Bro, like bro, we go in the McDonald's. There's like three kids. They're like, holy shit, Daniel and Paul. Like what the fuck? And we're like. We're confused. <laughs> then we go to fucking New York, bro. Like we rent a fucking uh, like like rentable bikes after. Uh, no, before call out, uh, we ride rentable bikes. We st uh, stand at the stop, like there's a red light for us, and we see Corvette Corvette car like on the street. Uh, like somebody's revving an engine, and I'm like, who the fuck is this asshole? Like uh, revving an engine at three guys who are on the bicycles. Uh, like we go to 7-Eleven, we grab some snacks. I check my Instagram, like because there's Wi-Fi. Like we I get got Wi-Fi. I check like and there's like one of the guys, like one of the guys, like he's like, yeah, that was me in Corvette. We're like, what the fuck? We go so far away and people fucking like yeah, recognize uh, yeah. us that far away, bro. Crazy. And every time when you travel, it's fucking crazy. Like it's mind blowing because like I don't know personally, I don't see it like like as being famous. But bro, like if you go somewhere far away, like people still fucking know you. Yeah, like, fuck yeah. Mind blowing. Fuck yeah. Like this whole thing, like the community being so tight together. It's yeah. Amazing, amazing, bro. And the, like all the tra transition over the years, like how it, the whole sport has changed, is fucking phenomenal. Like, crazy. In my opinion, yeah, it's crazy. crazy. Like, like the more you travel, the more you get to know. Like, it's freaking amazing. Bro. This summer, bro, I saw. I've been seeing some shit, bro. Bro, bro you've I been in Europe, bro. Shit. But Europe is yeah. like, like you I'm know, like you. everybody knows, Europe. It's where it's at, you know. Yeah, yeah. And you went to fucking swoop, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. that's like. Yeah, so up here, bro. Yeah. Like the craziest shit. Like yeah. what I have experienced. Not yeah. even competing, yeah. just watching, bro. Yeah, it's like fucking crazy. I'm gonna tell you, bro. Last two weeks ago, I was in Toulouse, in the yeah. south of France. There was a comp. Yeah, yeah. It was just statics, but I saw some shit that, like to this day, it's been two weeks. I'm still like, what the fuck was that? I was telling them earlier, like people spawn out of nowhere that can do the craziest yeah. shit, bro. It's like they live in their rooms and they're just Grinding, geeking yeah, out bro. on shit, bro. And then they come out and yeah. they're like, whoa. Bro, like it's fucking crazy. Like yeah. uh, the back in the day, we used to have this saying, like especially in our country, we used to have this saying before the World Championship. Remember, you can have like the strongest guy right now here, right? Mm -hmm. Remember, there's going to be one guy in Russia that's way stronger than them. Yeah. One guy in fucking Latin America as well, like better than them. Yeah. Like in all regions, there's guys who are not competing, haven't competed. Facts. Like this guy's second competition was Beast of the Bars and he fucking won it. I think second competition, right? Yeah. Yeah, he won like fucking world level competition before he won his nationals. Bro, like fucking fuck. Undercover. <laughs> what? Yeah. Bro, the guy on, was on, fucking on grinding. That note, bro, yeah. you are strong as fuck, oh, bro. Thank you. Bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was uh, just yeah. in my basement, you know, no equipment. In this garage, bro, we yeah. locked him up, bro. <laughs> no, I was surprised. Like, I was with Daniels right here. I was like, what the fuck? Bro. Thanks, bro. Yeah, Thanks. Hell Not, yeah. It's, uh, these two guys, yeah. fucking yeah, great facts. mentors. Like, as you said, like, fucking, if you have a mentor, yeah. it's just a cheat code. Yeah, yeah. You bro. get, like, Every Focus tip like is this. just right there for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking but when you get the instant feedback from the double yeah. champ, <laughs> bro. But as well, like, to lose. Like, and I can approve. I can approve the work ethic was there as well. Yeah, for sure, yeah, for, bro, sure. for sure. Because you can have a, like a good yeah. mentor and still not do enough. Yeah. Because back in the day, I had this guy next to me. He was already full planching Maltese, everything. That didn't listen to, like to the guy. Like imagine, like you have a fucking human library of everything what you need to know. And like I was not taking it serious, like I was like yeah. fucking partying outside, da da da. And at one moment, the guy was like, "Hey, yo, like stop fucking around, take this shit serious, bro. Like you have nothing else going on, like because it's literally like that. Like if you choose to take this path, like in your life, there's nothing fucking else. Just fucking head down, just grind and like work on it. And like at one like as well, like you need fucking like real homies who actually put you in check, like at some points, like you know." Like everybody slips up every now and then, you know, but like yeah. at one moment they need to tell you, hey, yo, like this shit needs to stop or you need to do this shit. Like sometimes just straight up listening to your people, like actually can make way bigger difference than like actually having all the tools. Actually, sometimes all the tools are not enough for some people. Like yeah. if you're close minded, there's not much you can do, you know, so like real homies and especially like if you have like a person who guide you, guides you around. 
fucking like bro cheat code speed hack literally bars so bars so bars Mixtape bars 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 not we, me. I'm doing it alone. I'm gonna check how many I can do on both arms. Uh, after actually muscle ups and handstand push ups. Let's see. Like I, I think I could do three on both. If I do more, that's gonna be fucking surprising. And as well, like I stood without a shirt outside. It's quite cold. No excuses. Let's fucking go. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Yeah, it's Giving history lessons, repping out one arm fucking pull ups. Okay, you go to That's it. Four on each. Yes, sir. What the fuck is what with my ankle? Have you guys thought about the like the reps competitions? I think that's where actually we my ta that. talent is actually yeah. at. I Bro, think for him as well, actually. Maybe. Like the officers and time. Have you seen what's going on in the States? Uh, like the freestyle shit is on, on the low right now, but we have something called the UFX. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it, got, it got picked up by Fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes, yes, yes. So yes. There's like a hundred thousand dollar prize for the winning team. That's so the one that where Steve could compete back, back in the day in New York. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so, so it's like yeah, a team, right? It's still, it's going, still going, it's still going. different things brought it back. And it's basically like a team. Like imagine us four and, and Audrey and we're, you know what I mean, we're five. One girl, four guys. Against, let's say we're team Rico, and then there's team Stockholm over mm. there, right? And they put up on the board a number of reps. Mm. And they got like, let's say, 50 muscle ups, uh, 15 one arm pull ups each arm, 30 handstand push ups, 10 planch push ups, and 100 pistol squats. And we got to as a team, as a team, we got to like, push it. Mm. And it's like, that's enough. Last thing for today. So oh shit. Simon's a fucking fucking beast. He's out here, everyone's talking. Mine is in his mine in his own business, just doing dips. Crazy guy. Crazy guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck you been doing? I've been uh, yapping. Nothing. Nothing. Type shit. Type shit. God damn, bro. Bro, <laughs> 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 I want it. I want it so bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on it after, uh, after the comp. I also told Daniel like we had a session I think yesterday or the day before. And I was like doing pull. I was like, bro, fucking these combos would be so much sicker with just <laughs> some sad, just bro, some live money, action. money from fucking. Uh, I know. Did you see the YouTube video? Bro, it's hard, bro. The guy fucking yeah. spamming ten reps, bro. Like with touches and everything, bro. Like front lever, bro. Like there's no, there's nobody stronger bro, than him. He has me. like, he has like soupy sad yeah. gloves to touch. To touch. Yeah. What? The it's, guy did it's like abnormal. 10. He did 10 fucking sat fucking pulls and then fucking touch. He repped 10 fucking regular reps as well with to, to fucking touch, go up, down, bum, bum. He that bro, I, I admire that guy so much. He's the guy for me who made front lever sick. You know, Manny? Bef before Manny, it was like ah front lever, you know? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, like it was all about planche. And then he came out, bro, and he started doing shit. Like, he does shit, bro, that's, you gotta know what you're seeing, you know, but he'll be like false, he'll go up, he'll go unfalse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And start doing bro, shit. Bro, he did as well on the fucking high bar. He does the same shit on high bar, bro. He does all the endurance sets on a fucking high bar. And you see him, like, just go in the front lever with this grip, go fucking touch, then rep it like fucking nothing. 
That's if fuck. fucking like it's beautiful. It's not even like not <laughs> not even like regular grip, but like yeah. pushing it downwards. Like it's fucking That's crazy. Big, big. <laughs> like if I see a motherfucker pull like this, yeah. that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you see a motherfucker pull like this. I love, bro. It's beautiful. You know that. You know no, they're no not joking. No false grip front lever pull-ups. Love that shit. So good. Yeah. I was telling him, Manny does. He did this thing where he goes like false, pull, and then he unfalses and then starts pulling, bro. It was fucked. It was retarded, bro. <laughs> it made no sense. It he's made from no Chile, sense. right? Yeah, yeah. Chile, bro. yeah. He's so OP at pulling, bro. Bro, but his genetics as well. If you see his body, like how yeah. his body is like, it's like, built for pulling. Like, legit, like yeah. like back is fully fucking flat when he's standing, like yeah. zero, like zero whatsoever. Like, yeah. yeah. Roundness to the back. He stands like that, like shoulder blades all together and everything, and like as well, he goes like he can round his back, pull like that, go yeah. touch, round back, like. And when you see him do his touch front. It it makes no sense, bro. The bar is above his belly button. Yeah. It's like his center is... he's short? Like, you know. He's like... He's like our... Like, he's a little bit shorter than us. Like, yeah. us, yeah. Um, he's lean as shit, I don't know bro. How. He's diced. Yeah. That's the guy, Adri. Remember we watched the, uh, Nikki's video. The super shredded, strong as front you know guy. He weighs? He weighs? Yeah. 64. 64 kg? Mm -hmm. Shit. Fuck. He was, That's impressive. He was 69. At the beginning of summer, we did another video. And then he no, lost, wait. yeah, he lost, he lost five, five kilos. kilos. Like, oh yeah, stop. Well, oh. If I go big shred, what are you at right now? I'm now like 69. Maybe. Uh, that's a wrap up to, of today's session. We did a little bit of statics, then we jumped into the basics that what we usually don't show that much. Did a little bit of challenging myself, like with the muscle ups, handstand push ups, one arm pull ups, and all of that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, leave a like. Make sure to share this video so other people start to like watch the videos as well, so the community grows. Keep an eye out for the interviews that are about to drop. Uh, we did one with Super Clarkson, then we did one, one with Simon, and uh, in the upcoming days we're gonna shoot one with Nikki. And uh, yeah, we're starting to do interviews, so you get to learn more about calisthenics in details for other athletes, like uh, reaching into a worldwide community. Uh, make sure to use the code YT10 at the shop. There's new wraps coming out really soon, guys. God mode wrist wraps, comb season, and uh, baby blue colorway as well. Uh, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. Blazoli, first try. Not crazy.